Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how to glitch or actually exploit Bloodborne on the PS4 to get all three of the trophies for the seeing the end of the game. There's three different endings. We're going to look at how to get all three of those trophies for each ending without doing New Game Plus. Uh, that's why I'm calling it an exploit and not a glitch. It actually more exploits the PS4 itself rather than the game. So to start out, <clears throat> sorry, what you're going to need is just any basic USB jump drive that you'd plug into a computer. Uh, I'd say at least a 2 gig, maybe a 4 gig. Uh, what we're going to do, I'll go ahead and plug mine in just to give an example here. Okay, first of all, take your system into offline mode completely. Do not be connected to the PlayStation services. This is not a matter of, oh, good lord, they're going to ban you for doing this. No, it has nothing to do with being banned or, you know, getting caught cheating. It's just a matter of PlayStation current, constantly backing up your save data, especially if you're a PlayStation Plus member. They're constantly grabbing your save data and throwing it on their servers. So for now, just go ahead, go into offline mode. After that, we're going to go into settings. You'll go down to application save data management. You'll see three options for data in system storage, online storage, and USB storage. For now, you're going to want to go into the system storage, copy to USB storage device, select Bloodborne, check mark it, go over and hit copy. As you can see, I've already done it once, so I'm going to go ahead and apply to all and tell it yes to go ahead and copy over. Right. You only want to do this with a save game that is sitting right at the end of Bloodborne. And I'll show you here in just a minute how to know if you're actually at the end, ready to fight the final boss. Uh, for most people, I mean, it should be obvious that you're at the end, but, you know, if it's really not that obvious, I'm going to show you anyway. All right, it's done copying, so we're going to back all the way out. We'll go down, open up Bloodborne. Wait through the horrendous loading screens on this thing. Amazing game, just really slow at loading. Okay, now that I'm in, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the USB drive from my PS4 so the system isn't trying to read from it. Remember, we have our save game on that USB drive. That's going to be our backup, pretty much. So we're going to be playing the save file off of the hard drive in the PS4, that one's going to be for later use that's on the USB drive. Go ahead and load up your game. <clears throat> okay, so here, I'm standing outside the gate for the final boss how to tell that you're actually at the end of the game, that gate will be open. Your main house will be lit ablaze. It's going to be on fire entirely, even though you can still go in it, do your upgrades and everything. If you talk to the doll, she tells you that he's waiting for you at the great tree. So at that point, you're just going to come over here. And at this point is where you would actually want to do this uh, backing up. So you would quit out right here. Just go over here to System and do Exit Game. After that, go copy your save file to the USB drive. Pull the USB drive, go back into the game. Walk through the gate. Acquire the ending that you first want to see. Uh, you know, there's the one for just submitting to him so he ends the dream for you. You have another option of fighting him. And then the third option requires all three of the one-third umbilical cords if you found all those. So you'd walk through, say we're going to do submit. I'm not actually going to do it here. This is uh, just kind of a tutorial, so I don't want to kill the game myself by getting all three of the trophies right now. I might. I don't know. 
uh, still kind of trying to make up my mind. Somebody else confirmed that this worked with me earlier today, so I'm sharing it with everybody else. But you'd walk through the gate, you know, tell him, I submit, end the dream for me, I'm done. Once, you know, the ending rolls and the trophy pops up, go ahead and quit out of your game. Oh, sorry. You'd actually, just come over here, go down to quit. Go ahead and dashboard and hit your options button and close application and at this point you go back up to settings reinsert the USB drive go down to application save data management save data on USB storage device copy to system bloodborne go ahead and check it and hit copy that's going to take the save file that you put on the USB drive just prior to going through the gate and beating that final boss and putting it back on your system. Technically, this way you never beat the game. You still have the trophy, you just didn't beat the game. After you copy it over, you're going to load back into the game. You'll be standing right in front of the gate again, walk through, get the next ending that you're looking to get. Repeat the process again, you know, rinse and repeat like everybody says. Get the third and final ending. You have all the trophies now for each ending of the game. All you have to worry about is any other trophies that you have not acquired, such as, you know, the all weapons. Uh, a couple of those are actually a little difficult to get because they're a couple of them are in the actual Chalice Dungeon. Some of them you have to do little side bosses to get a hold of. But that's the gist of it. That's how you get all three of those trophies really easy without having to do New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus and fight through the game so many times just to finalize your trophy set. So I hope this helped out some people. I won't look at you as a cheater if you do it because like I said it's more of an exploit if you're just looking at you know fast trophy accumulation you don't want to have to suffer through playing the game multiple times. Personally I like the game enough that I probably will. So I hope this helped out some people. You know, drop me a comment in the comments box to let me know. Uh, they may patch this at some point. I apologize if they do. So you might want to go ahead and you know scoop this up while you can before they patch it.